थैंक यू भाजी स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम यहाँ पे बात करें तो कैलकुलेशन बेस पहले भी मैं कह चुका हूँ बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है कि आपकी कैलकुलेशन स्ट्रेंथ अच्छी होनी चाहिए एज फार एज बेस कॉन्सेप्ट आर कंसर्न जी मेन हो नीट हो बहुत फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन आते हैं वो लोग ऑन दिस केस Which is analyzing a charge block on inclined plane in electric field. It says an inclined plane making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal is placed in a uniform horizontal field of 200 newton per coulomb as shown in the figure. It says a body of mass 1 kg and charge 5 milli coulomb is allowed to slide down from the rest from a height of 1 meter. It says if the coefficient of friction is 0.2, upper se niche aane ka time we need to calculate. So directly here you can write if we check about the free body diagram of this block, downward it will experience mg mass is 1 kg. G 9.8 लेना है तो दिस 9.8 न्यूटन G की वैल्यू 9.8 का मीनिंग ही यही होता है कि या तो बहुत लविंग कैलकुलेशन होगी और यू नीड टू स्पेंड टाइम इन कैलकुलेशन सो बी केयरफुल अपॉन दैट ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ फोर्स टू वर्ड राइट व्हिच इज क्यू ई सो इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स इज हियर इज क्यू ई चार्ज इज 5 मिली कूलम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 200 न्यूटन पर कूलम इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सो दिस 1 न्यूटन and a normal reaction it will experience in this direction which is given by the sum of uh, the, uh, component of these two forces perpendicular to the incline here if this angle is 30 this 30 degree this also 30 degree as it is sliding down friction will act over here which is mu n so agar hum yahan n ka value dekhte hain normal reaction will be 9.8 cos 30 is uh, root 3 by 2 is 0.866 plus uh, here it is 1 sin 30 1 into 0.5. So here 9.8 into 0.8 uh, somewhere around it will come. This is 8.4 something. This is 8.5. This is approximately 9 newton. So you can do the uh, calculation better when uh, uh, go for the exact calculations. And as it is sliding down with an acceleration a. So for downward motion you can write. 9.8 uh, multiplied by cos 30 sin 30 degree is 0.5 minus 1 cos 30 is 0.866 minus mu n mu is 0.2 multiplied by 9 is 1.8 this should be equals to m a mass is 1 kg so this can be written as a so the value of a we are getting in this case is 4.9 Minus 1.8 minus 0.866. This comes out to be this will be 3.1 minus 0.866 is 2.23 2.23 meter per second square. As we have got the acceleration 2.23. So time to slide. If you are calculate karte hain, so time to slide you will be getting as root 2 l by a. So this comes out to be root of 2 into Length of incline is one by sine thirty is two divided by two point two three. Again, this requires uh, time for calculation. You just solve this and get the result. So again, अभी आप ध्यान से देखें question tough नहीं है लेकिन calculations अच्छी involved हैं. कुछ questions certainly आते हैं चाहे वो J main का paper हो, NEET का paper हो. जो base calculation पे base होते हैं और आपको time देना पड़ता है. Otherwise, you won't be able to match it. This was a, a, a MCQ asked in J main. Or obviously, approximate calculation से you can match out which result is appropriate. लेकिन base calculation स्ट्रेंथ और एफिशिएंसी आपकी अच्छी होनी चाहिए थैंक यू भोजी एक क्वेश्चन और मैं यहां पे ले रहा हूं इज द केस ऑफ एन ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट पहले भी हम कर चुके हैं बट द पर्पस ऑफ टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन वाज अगेन टू गिव यू अ स्ट्रेंथ ऑन योर कैलकुलेशन पार्ट क्योंकि ऐसे क्वेश्चन हमारी कैलकुलेशन स्ट्रेंथ पे कॉन्फिडेंस भी देते हैं वो लोग ओवर हेयर This is based on an oil drop experiment where it says an oil drop of radius 2 mm with a density of uh, 3 gram per centimeter cube is held stationary under a constant electric field. In the Millikan's oil drop experiment, it is asking what is the number of excess electron that the oil drop will possess. So here you can write when an oil drop is in equilibrium. So we can write upward as per force lag raha hoga. Q e downward force will be m g, and for equilibrium we can write Q e is equals to m g. So in this situation, charge can be written as n e. So charge you can write as n multiplied by e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. If n are the excess electrons, so n e will be the charge on it. Electric field here is 3.55 into 10 to the power 5. This Q E should be equal to m g. In this case, g we need to take 9.8 one. Again, now see g ka value indicates either is my calculation acha hoga ya bilkul loving values hongi. Now. Mass will be for uh, a given density and radius. You can write as 4 by 3 pi r cube r is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 ka cube. This is the volume 4 by 3 pi r cube multiplied by density, which is 3 gram per centimeter cube. So this can be written as 3000. 
and then G is 9.81. Again, I am leaving this part as a calculation for you. Calculate it and you will get the value of N. That will be the answer to this question. Aap your calculation carefully nikali and verify what exact value you are getting. Calculator sir, verify zaroor kar li jayega ki aapne jo manual kari hai calculation, whether you are getting the perfect answer or not. Thank you, Poji. So, here students will be talking about the equilibrium of two suspended balls. Again, the case which many times asked. Here it says two identical tennis balls, each having mass m and charge, you are suspended from a fixed point of length l. What is the equilibrium separation when the threads make an angle theta with the vertical? So, if we draw a situation here, and we suspend two balls from one point, so suspend karenge, the situation would be like this. Due to mutual repulsion, we will angle ke upar, ek se suspended. Hoon. Now, in this situation, the threads are making a small angle theta with the vertical. So, in this situation, this theta and here, this is also theta. Length of a string is L and the equilibrium separation, if we consider this as D. So, we will see D ka value. Nikalna. And the balls are having charge Q and mass M. So, they will be experiencing downward force Mg. But in dono ke upar electric repulsion act karega, force can be written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q square by D square. Tension in the string will be T. For equilibrium, if this angle is theta, we can write this force as T cos theta, or this force as T sin theta. Now, in this situation for uh, equilibrium of bob, uh, for equilibrium of ball, we can write here T sin theta is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q square by d square and we can write t cos theta is equals to mg. So, in this situation, if we divide the two equations, this 1, this 2. So, this gives us 1 by uh, 2 is equals to tan theta is giving us q square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught mg d square. In the value of tan theta in this triangle, we can write this as d by 2. And uh, this can be written approximately L because theta is small, so cos theta can be taken as 1. So, this can be written as 10 theta is equal to d by 2L. So, simplifying this gives us d cube is equal to 2L can be taken over here. So, this q square L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught mg. Now, if we have L, then le 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 le, this 2 gets cancelled out. So, this 2 pi epsilon naught mg and the value of d equilibrium separation we are getting is q square l by 2 pi epsilon naught mg cube root. That is the answer for this problem. Thank you, Boji. Student, another straightforward case, just pay kai bar questions push again. Or straight case, hum revision checklist mein, concept videos mein, har jage isko cover kar chuke hai. Which says an electric field due to a circular arc, we need to check. It says, figure shows a rod AB, which is bent in a 120 degree circular arc of radius R, and a charge minus Q is uniformly distributed over the rod AB. Or hum ko nikalna electric field at the center of curvature O. So, yaha pe agar hum solution dekhte hai, to here we can directly state for this arc, which is subtending an angle phi at the center of charge minus q, so the electric field will be toward this charge. So, e will be along the x direction, which question is given. Hai. Now, in this case, the electric field expression, we can directly use 2 kq sin phi by 2 upon phi r square, where phi is the angle subtended. So, I will use directly result hi use karunga. Here, it is lim uh, q can, uh, k can be written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, this q by 2 pi epsilon naught multiplied by sin 60 degree phi angle is 120. So, sin 60 will be here root 3 by 2 into 1 upon phi r square. So, this 2 pi by 3 into r square. So, if I use the result, then the value of E can be written as 3 root 3 q divided by this 2 2 2 is 8 pi square epsilon naught r square. That is the result of this problem. Multiplied by you can write as i cap because question is asking the vector of electric field. 